Although we rarely think about our kidneys, they are some of the hardest working organs in the body, responsible for filtering more than 120 quarts of blood every day. The waste products they filter out are quickly eliminated by the body in the form of urine, composed of excess salts, fats, toxins, and liquid. Aside from assuring that waste is properly disposed of, kidneys are also critical to the balance of electrolytes in our body. Minerals like sodium, potassium, and calcium help maintain water balance in the system, as well as optimize nervous system communication. Without the kidneys functioning, or present, the body is unable to function. The composition of our blood must remain stable if we are to remain healthy, and the kidneys guarantee that happens. Although kidneys are clearly important, they are not essential, particularly if one kidney is still present. Some people are born without one of their kidneys, a condition called renal agenesis. Some other people are born with renal dysplasia, in which two kidneys are present, but only one is functional. While this can be worrying news for any new parent, most people with these conditions can live normal, healthy lives, as their bodies will adapt to the situation. In some instances, people will suffer a small loss of kidney function as they age, but this can take decades. Issues with hypertension are also relatively common in those with only one kidney. However, the more common reason for only having one kidney is because the other kidney had to be removed through a surgical procedure known as a nephrectomy. All or part of a kidney can be removed for a variety of reasons. If you have suffered damage to your kidney or if it has stopped working properly, you may be eligible for this surgery. Now, the removal or loss of both kidneys is a much more dangerous situation. When your kidneys stop working, your blood will quickly fill with toxins, which can result in damage to many other organs and impair functionality. Someone with failed kidneys will require dialysis, a process by which the function of the kidney is taken over by artificial means. There are two types of dialysis, peritoneal dialysis and hemodialysis. In the former, your blood is actually cleaned inside the body by injecting a fluid into the abdominal cavity that will absorb waste products in the blood. This liquid can then be removed along with the toxins. The more intensive and common form is hemodialysis, in which the blood is removed from the body, filtered, and then returned to the body. This process can take hours to complete and must be done two to three times per week until a new kidney can be transplanted. Dialysis can often be used for years or decades and is the only option for many people who are waiting for a healthy kidney. While some people do eventually get a kidney through donor programs, thousands of people are waiting for a life-saving organ. Our best advice is to keep your kidneys healthy, so if you think there's a problem, get it checked immediately, providing either peace of mind or proactive access to the appropriate medical care.